Dr. Boyer. Hi, Kendra. What's up? I just got off the radio with EMS. They're on their way in right now with a 24-year-old who was a motorcyclist who was involved in a down and under, under a um, semi-trailer, under a tractor trailer. He was unhelmeted. Right now, he's got some unstable vital signs. BP is 80 over 60, okay. heart rate's in the 140s. He's um, breathing about 40 times a minute and has some really pretty noisy respirations. EMS has put an oral airway in, but they don't have anything else at this point. Do they get an IV in him They so do far? not have an IV yet. Uh, so here's the plan. Okay. Is uh, first thing before this patient comes is we need to make sure we got everything ready. It sounds like this guy's got an airway issue, okay. so we're going to need to set up. Uh, I see we've got our airway stuff here. Right. Let's make sure we get a quike set because okay. you know, it sounds like he's got some pretty bad head trauma as well. So when this patient gets here, here's the plan. We need to have a, a good organized team effort on this. First thing is we all need to make sure we put on our personal protective equipment. You said uh, open femur fracture yeah, down here. Yeah. He's not moving that foot, no. but he's moving the other one? Correct. And last blood pressure was 80? 80, 80, okay, 80 80 40, and he's tachycardic, Correct. okay? Super. Anything else you want to tell me about him? That's it. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, guys. Hey guys. Let's get into action here. I'll tell you what we need to concentrate on. You're going to get a blood pressure for me. You hook up to the monitor. I'm right. going to look at the airway here. Right. You guys get that started. Let me see. I think I got my kid up here. Uh, go ahead and bag him a little bit. Okay. You hook him up to a pulse ox while I'm doing this also? Sure thing. Oh, I'm not seeing anything. I'll get the crank. Kendra, do we have a crank kit? I think we're I'll get that ready for guy. you. Okay, let's right. see. Okay, Cody, you can keep his control there. Got Kendra, can you come this. over here and bag him? I'll get the kit set up. I sure up. can. Feel for the, the Adam's apple. Right below the Adam's apple is the cricothyroid membrane. We're going to make an incision. Down. Get a little blood there. And we're going to use the back of our scalpel. I think I'm in the airway. Good. There's a little bit of air coming out there. And now we're going to put in an endotracheal tube. Actually, we have a tracheostomy tube here. There it is. Kendra, can you hook that up there? What was his pressure? He is now um, 80 over 60 still. 80 over 60 still. Heart so he's still obviously probably bleeding somewhere. Let's give him two liters of fluid wide open. You got one large bore IV. Let's start a second large bore IV in this right arm. Okay. Uh, the paramedic said he didn't have any pulses. Let me check those down here. Put some pressure on that for me, if you would, Cody. Thanks. Uh, Circulation, what's his pressure? He is still 80 over 60. 80 over 60. Yeah. And how much fluid have you given him? He's gotten the two liters of warmed IV fluid. So he's not responding. Let's go ahead and give him some O-negative blood. Sure. Please give him two units of O-negative okay. blood. And I you just can got hang two. some more saline while you're at it. Okay. We've got our ABCs. Now let's do a disability exam here. Uh, so we're going to do a Glasgow coma scale. We're going to see if he opens his eyes, sir. Mm. It looks like he opens his eyes mm. to pain. Do you know what that is? That's a two. Mm. And, and mm. he's kind of withdrawing to pain here. That's a four. And right now he uh, can't talk to me because I got him. He's got a cricothyroidotomy. Uh, so that's uh, what is that? Two, four, seven. He's seven. So he's in a coma. So we're going to. It looks like he's got a depressed skull fracture there. He's uh, got a Glasgow coma scale of seven. We're going to need to send him to a neurosurgeon. So, Kendra, when you get a chance, we're going to okay. have to call the trauma center and, and get them on the line because we're going to have to move this guy. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to roll him. So we're going to need an additional body to help roll him also so we can keep C-spine precautions. So let's get that all cut off. Okay, guys, we've seen the front of him. Now let's uh, roll him over and take a look at the back. Right. We're going to need some extra hands to do a proper log roll. Okay, you count it on three. Roll in three, two, one. Roll. Okay, and I'm palpating in the back here, looking for some step off. Okay. The uh, prostate doesn't feel like it's, uh, I can feel it, it doesn't feel like it's high right, and he's got uh, good rectal tone. Let's get this thing out of here. Can you put those x ray plates in for a chest and a pelvis for me, please? Okay, Liz, well, I want you to get a couple x rays for me. Let's get a pelvis, a chest, and a C spine film. Uh, go ahead and develop those and bring them back to me, but when you come back, I'm going to have you get an x-ray of his femur. Okay, we got him exposed now. Let's cover him up so he doesn't get cold. Last thing we want is hypothermia. Now let's reassess our ABCs. So he's still hooked up to the ventilator. We're breathing at 12. What's his O2 sat? Is, uh, 97%? 97%, super. And he's gotten how much of that blood? He's gotten one unit in and he's got the other unit halfway super. in. Super, so we're making a little bit of progress there. Okay, we're ready to move on to our secondary survey. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. Uh, so let's take a look here at the head. 
Looks like he's got, oh goodness, looks like he's got a uh, depressed skull fracture here. Peoples are equal and responsive. He's got a lot of bit of, of uh, crepitus in his face, a lot of swelling. Looks like he's got some facial fractures. Let's look at his neck here. Uh, looks like his trachea is midline or crike is in good place. Uh, his neck veins don't look distended. Um, he's got a lot of abrasions here on his chest. Uh, and a little bit of concern. It feels like he's got some rib fractures here. And he's a little bit dull to percussion. I mean, he may very well have a hemothorax. Uh, I'd like to see that chest x-ray as soon as we get that back. Uh, let me push on his pelvis here. Feels, uh, feels pretty stable. His abdomen, he's not really grimacing when I push on it. Doesn't feel like it's distended. I'm not too concerned about his abdomen at the moment, but it is a possible source of bleeding. Now let's look at his legs again. Those x-rays back? They are. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. We've got him up on the monitor here. Looks like he's got blood in his chest. He's going to need a chest tube. Okay. Uh, so we're going to clean this off real well. Now we're going to use some sterile towels here. Make sure you drape that off real well. We're going to make our incision about two centimeters in, in length. We're going to take a big clamp and actually stick it into the chest, right up over the top of the rib. Okay, now we're going to put the tube into the chest. There it goes. I'll push this in to the last holes in the chest. And we're going to hook this up to, uh, to the thoraclex under underwater seal. And thank you, Kendra. Thank you. Okay, okay. And what do we got there? Blood draining here. A little bit of blood coming out. Super. Take a listen to the breath sounds. And what's his blood pressure doing? His blood pressure is up to 100 systolic right now. Right. And heart rate's 120. He's yeah. gotten almost two liters of blood. He's got two units of uh, fluid. Uh, looks like we got all our x-rays. We got our chest, pelvis, our C-spine x-ray. We got that left wrist. We got the femur x-ray. It looks like he's getting ready to be packaged up. Yeah. Uh, did you get the trauma center on the trauma phone? Trauma center should be on line two for you right now. Okay, super. Let me go talk to them and uh, you guys get him all packaged up, ready to go. Great. Great. Thank you. I got a guy that I really need to send to you. He came to us minimally responsive. Uh, he had gurgling respirations and obvious uh, facial fractures. We needed to do a cricothyroidotomy on him, which we did. Uh, the other things that he has, it looks like he's got some chest trauma, probably a pulmonary contusion. He had a hemothorax on the left side. I put a chest tube in. Uh, we've also uh, noticed that he had uh, a depressed skull fracture on that left side as well. And he's going to need a neurosurgeon when he sees you. He also needs an orthopedic surgeon. Super. I think he uh, probably should come by uh, helicopter if you could send the helicopter.